we get moving already? All this greenery is making my beard itch. Don't look. Don't look at me. Olaf, my name. Came with friends to to drive out away the elf, but the dark spawn were too quick. We were ripped apart, biting claws and teeth from the darkness, and then I woke, flesh and bone and gristle under me, around me. Everyone dead. Dead, soft meat melting into the ground. I, I crawled away, came here. Can't stand to see it. Sister? I have a sister. Do I? Elf sister? No, we did not take her. Probably dead or eaten. Beneath. Around from shadows. No. No. Darkspawn came first. They slaughtered us, took our steel, brought it to the elven camp, tricked us, tricked the elf. Now, she thinks we are to blame. Hunts all in her rage while they watch. So all these people died over a... Misunderstanding? Maker, that's horrible. We have to stop her. Tell her she's wrong. If we search the woods more thoroughly, we might be able to find her again. The Dark Ones are curious about you too. 
They watch you as well as her. Can you feel them? Already dead, am um, already gone. Make, make an end, please. want from me? Don't you understand? I have to do this to get Sarani back! I know a human crime when I see it. I've experienced more than enough of them. You will pay for repeating their lies. Can the Dalish hope to revive our past glory 
when we slaughter each other like animals. I want to die where my loved ones died. Will you give me that at least? <laughs> Talk. The Darkspawn are mindless. It is not possible. I wondered why anyone would discard the weapons. But you say the Darkspawn planted them? That would mean the Darkspawn killed my people. And took my sister. Why would the Darkspawn do this? You have no reason to trust me. But let me come with you. Great. Another twitchy magic sort. Just what we need. We Dalish must band together. I apologize for my actions. Now, where should we seek the Darkspawn? There is an abandoned mine some ways to the north of here. The tunnels run far into the earth. We will likely find the dark spawn there. Yes. Complete.
Time for more dark spawn, I see. Well, all So I shall. As you So I shall. Love me. Of course. Well, all So I shall. have a lot of animals, don't they? Dirty, filthy beasts.
Grey Wardens this irritating. Endlessly. What? Don't you have something better to do? It has been a long time. I have forgotten my name, but I am a warrior. I am Avar, and I am cursed. Far longer than that. Seasons beyond counting. I was a man, a man to be feared, a man of war. The Deventer mages, they came here seeking easy prey, but they found me, my brother, my tribe. We broke their army at the Fort of a Thousand Vigils, then pursued the Magister. Changes all things. We cornered the Magister here. Here we would sacrifice him to Yuvola, the god of this wood. As his guards fell one by one, he struck my brother and I with liquid fire. So even as the Magister's body was torn apart, 
My brother and I watched from stone eyes. The Tevinter Magister that cursed my brother and I, he leads a mockery of life. Disturb the ashes nearby. Summon him. Kill him. Free me! Stranger. No, come here. My brother called to you. Do not listen. The Magister's death will accomplish nothing. My brother is consumed by rage. Over long years his anger grows. Anger will not free us. Revenge will not free us. I've used the long years to think, to pray to our gods. There is no release, but with peace, serenity, we can sleep. I have slept many seasons with only my brother's anger to call me back. Show him the way. This does not have to be a torment. With reason, or a silver tongue. He is the son of the father, a warrior born. With the long seasons, I have seen that violence often accomplishes naught. Teach him. The deed is not yet done. My brother has grown weak. In truth, weakness was always in him. He was a thinker, a dreamer, not a warrior. This life of Earth is beyond bearing. The Magister stirs from his ashes, and my blood boils. He yet lives. What you ask is difficult. My soul calls out to smite he who cursed my brother and me. we can sleep and wake in a brighter future. Thank you. Before I sleep, let me whisper to you of law of the earth, our secret herbs. May they help you, stranger. Good night.
Yes. Just because you're the commander doesn't mean that you get to... Come on, never mind. You must be so close, Dwarf. I prefer that you turn your head. Well, sorry for looking. I can't help that your womanly splendor is at eye level. What? I was referring to your... Oh, you weren't talking about... Uh, what were you talking about? Your breath, Dwarf. The fell cloud that emanates from your gaping maw. <laughs> Call me the Lady Killer of Orzammar for nothing. <laughs> Warden. Horan is content to let me craft away in obscurity under dreadful conditions. Never a care for the art, the art of crafting. But you, you're not so dreadfully common. Exactly. I want to make wondrous things, things a dwarf and craftsman would appreciate. If you come across any fantastical materials, could you perhaps visit old Wade? Wade? What are you about? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Remember, fantastical materials. Yes, Commander? 
Let me see. Let me see. Oh, oh amazing. This might be heartwood. I'm not exactly sure. The Dalish elves are so prickly about sharing. If I were allowed to experiment with this, I might be able to make a bow. Or a shield. Yes. I can't do that right now, you understand. Here's a list of materials I need. They may be a trifle hard to come by, but you must get them. Do you remember me? The merchant from the road. I've made a deal with your mistress Wolsey to provide some new stock for the other merchants here. Make her bless you, sir. You're back. You need anything? Oh, <laughs> this will help a great deal. Wade, the commander found a silverite deposit. Armor and weapons could be made with this. I'll just get to it then. No one appreciates. You arranged for quite the welcome for us, didn't you, Commander? Not that I mind. <laughs> Gave me a chance to do some proper testing. <laughs> Explosives! The name is Dworkin Glavenok. Some call me Dworkin the Mad. That don't ruffle my beard, though. You have to be a little mad in my line of research. <laughs> I developed these particular formulations. It's the Kunari who perfected the art. That just gets in my craw. Sullen, ashen-skinned giants shouldn't be allowed to outsmart dwarves. So, I've been conducting experiments on lyrium sand and other volatile ingredients. If you got a mind to, hi. We used up all the explosives on those darkspawn. I can make more, but I'm out of lyrium sand. Lyrium dust is all over the place, but that's too fine. Dust's good for fuses, but not the boom I'm looking for. With real lyrium sand, I can set the lads to work. Wonderful. We can start making more explosives. Warden, before you let my brother blow himself to little bitsies, tell him to be careful. Don't listen to Foldrick. I know what I'm about. And how many apprentices have you lost? Three? No, four? We'll know the risks. If we succeed, our names will go down in history. Fine. We'll be safe. Happy now, Voldrick? Thanks for your help. Please. Take these. Use them to give those beasties a what for. <laughs> I should hate her, but I don't. I can respect a woman who fights for freedom and justice. True enough. Perhaps she saw the elves as a tool. She freed us nonetheless. And I thank her for it. Funny, isn't it? Andraste fought a tyrannical empire, only to have her followers become one themselves. People with power never fail to abuse it. Even those with good intentions. I can never forgive, and I will never forget. Perhaps one day, I will be able to move forward, just as we should move on now. Have I ever told you that I find tattoos on women incredibly attractive? Have I ever told you that I find most humans physically and morally repulsive? Good to know. Warden, I... I did warn you about the stone in these parts. Human masons will use whatever's at hand, but for proper walls, you need proper stone.
The nearest quarry has some miserable slate nonsense. I need proper granite. The darker the better. But I don't suppose, you know, in your travels... Splendid. But I can't risk my men to darkspawn attacks. You'll have to send soldiers to secure the site. Thank you, Commander. The vigil will not fall, I swear it. Commander, the men cleared the rubble. You'll have to see what they found for yourself. Here we are. Look at her. I knew it led to the deep roads. I could smell it. It looks safe enough to climb down. Find a way to stop the Darkspawn from coming back this way. Good luck. Perhaps one day we could sit down to discuss magic. What would that accomplish? Lots. Great civilizations are built on the sharing of ideas. Sharing? You mean stealing, of course, followed by crushing those you stole from. You know that chip on your shoulder? I think it's replaced your head.
Sensing more dark spawn.
Yes. over now. Ancestors favor us indeed. This is a dwarven barrier door. Before old Calharol fell, she nearly had it complete. Only the mechanism needs work. If they'd only had a bit more time to finish, Orzammar wouldn't be all alone. Won't take me long to fix up the mechanism. Poor sods were nearly done. This is proper Dwarven engineering. You stand back now. Should buy us a few years. A decade if we're lucky. That'll give us time to devise a more permanent solution. Of course.
Have I ever told you that I find tattoos on women incredibly attractive? Have I ever told you that I find most humans is... Oh, you're back to visit old Dworkin? Wonderful. We can start making more explosives. Thanks for your help. Please, take these. Use them to give those beasties a what for. <laughs> Trade here is good. Thank you. You're back. You need anything? Ah, oh, of course. Senishal Veril has been looking for you. Please go to the throne room. Just give me a moment. Hey, Commander. We need to talk. Dreams. You get them? Uh, this is a Grey Warden thing, huh? Why didn't anyone tell me? Yeah, this particular dream put me right off my breakfast. In my dream, I saw one of those bloated, vomit-smeared brood mothers, and it had Hespa's face. You remember Hespeth, don't you? Bronca was there and whispered, It's time! And Hespeth screamed and a thousand darkspawn burst from her! Then the darkspawn surrounded me and started talking, asking me if I would like lemon in my tea. And could I please teach them to read and write? And, and one of them kept repeating, Where's the baby? And, and, that's when I woke up. <laughs> Usually they accuse me of the opposite. Thanks for listening, Commander. I do not know where you found them. The Canari seems especially dubious. But the Vigil's market is busy once again. This will certainly aid in our upcoming efforts. With the surplus in the treasury, I took the liberty of getting you this. Well done, Commander. All rise. The Warden Commander and Liege Lord of all Amaranthine enters. I've held it off as long as I could. But you hold the right of high justice on your land. Certain matters of court must be decided. By custom, the claimants make their case to you. I'll advise you after, then you rule. 
The Seneschal of the Vigil can hold court as well, if the Isle commands it. Be seated. The Warden Commander will first hear the matter of the Crown against the Sheepherder Alec. On behalf of the Crown, I submit that Alec stole two bushels of grain bound for the garrison in Amaranthine. When confronted by soldiers, he confessed. The punishment for theft from the Crown is death by hanging. What say you, Alec? My sheep were slaughtered by the Darkspawn. My, fam my family was starving. I asked for mercy. Commander, mercy! The poor bugger. Had he stolen from anyone besides the Crown, he'd escape with a flogging. Thank you. Thank you. The next matter is of a civil nature. Lady Liza Pacton is the sovereign of Tern's Down. She... I prefer to speak for myself. The old Earl Rendon Howe made certain promises to me. Some of these he committed to paper. I was given the right to the incomes of the Southern Bridge. And what part did you take in Howe's conspiracies, eh, Liza? To get such a fruitful prize. I am Sir Darren, and it is my land she seeks. Taken from me because I was one of the few nobles who stood against Tern Logan. Commander, Sir Darren is an ally, and Amaranthine has precious few who support you wholeheartedly. If there's any hope of persuading more nobles to your cause, you must be fair-minded. My father built that bridge, but very well, I place my trust in you. The commander has spoken. The matter is resolved. Bring in Sir Temele the Ox. Sir Temele stands accused of a murder most foul. You and your men came upon Sir Tamra in the dead of night and did cravenly ambush her. You dare too much, Captain Garavel. I am noble-born and will not submit to your accusations. You are accused of murder, sir. My soldiers found you fleeing while Sir Tamra's blood was still hot. There's a great deal of traffic on the roads, not all of it human. And it's so dangerous at night. We were merely in a hurry to reach a nice, safe place. You mock this court with your denials! You have nothing, Captain. Release me, Commander. It's this common lout's word against mine. You will recall Sir Tamra as the knight who warned us against the conspiracy. Sir Temele was a confederate of Al Howe. If he's innocent, I'm the Empress of Orlais. But it's possible, I suppose. I fear you're correct. There'd be some outrage. There's no love for the ox, but he's a noble. With such scant evidence. But you are within your rights to execute him. What is your will? What is the meaning of this? You can't do this! Oh, but the commander very much can. This session of the Arling's court is over. And Maker, help me. I hope the next one is easier than this. Shall we get a move on?